You can see we have the music widget down here near the bottom of the screen. We use that to automatically start the media player without going into through the main menu, which of course you can still do. You see it sorts music um, just like you would expect. I only have a couple albums on here though, so. I've loaded up the Mobile Burn website on the Highlights browser so you can see how it works. You can see this is the mobile formatted version, not the full HTML version. We'll get to that later. Works in both landscape and um, portrait modes. Tap on this little control here to get out of full screen mode so you can get to you know the full menu. The volume control, which is located down here in the bottom, handles zooming. So you can see as I click this, I can zoom in and zoom out. Go to full screen mode again. And I'm going to tap on the full HTML version of the site. I've now got the full mobile burn website pulled up. You can see the browser does a pretty reasonable job. Um, when you start zooming though, things get a little bit out of whack. You can see some of the icons will no longer fit properly and stuff. But it's it's not it's not bad by any stretch. You know, if you're really there to read things, you know, you're gonna do okay on this browser. I've pulled up the Yahoo Finance page just so you can see how a different site looks. Again, in general, everything renders pretty well. I'm going to tap through to the Applications item on the main menu, so you can see some of the things we have preloaded on the highlight. Calculators, converters, typical utility type things, and there's also an RSS reader, and I preloaded our own RSS feed just so we could take a look at the reader. It's not bad. You can always click through to um, go to the full web version. The Samsung Highlight makes use of a Java-based email client. It has support for a limited number of providers. There's no support for generic IMAP or POP accounts, so you know AIM, AOL, Yahoo. And then you can see the list here. But if you're not using one of those providers, then you're kind of out of luck. Uh, luckily, we do see Gmail support there, which will cover a lot of people, though. I'm going to launch the camera application by pressing down on the shutter button briefly. You can see it has a very nice menu system. Multiple pages. Fair number of settings. You can easily switch back and forth between video and camera modes just by tapping in the upper left hand corner. QVGA resolution video. 3 megapixel photos. Point and shoot. Press the shutter button again to get back to the camera. Got the photo viewer pulled up. and Tap on one of the thumbnails to see the image. Works in both portrait and landscape modes. And when you're in landscape modes, you can tilt the device to scroll a bit. Activate the zooming control. Then you can use the volume button to zoom in and out and pan around. can also use manual swipes to move back and forth from photo to photo. So that's our quick look at the Samsung T749 Highlight for T-Mobile. A uh, very nice device, a uh, good form factor, has a nice feel to it, colorful, and uh, touchscreen works pretty well. Uh, a little bit limited in terms of email support, but it does have a nice IM client. Uh, it's on sale for $149.99 after rebates and with an appropriate data plan. Uh, again, the T749 Highlight, I'm Michael Oral for MobileBurn.com.